Awesome. Awesome. Well, I, I uh, forgot to update my uh, tags here for my opening slide to show what came before uh, my current presentation. But the key point on this slide, talking about history, is that I've added a start date tag. And that's where all of our mapping in open history, open historical map begins. And uh, let me uh, get this in here. So for those of you who aren't familiar, and I'm, I have a lot of gratitude to those of you who followed and cheered us on along the way, uh, OSM is essentially a, or OHM is essentially OSM with a slider, time slider, and an empty database waiting for people to fill it in. Uh, we have stacked the fork, or we've said, we have forked the stack, uh, including a big push this morning, which might uh, explain my slippy tongue, uh, but that was a very uh, exciting maneuver for those of you who have deployed software to do it before big talk. Uh, was usually ill-advised. Um, but, you know, this is a grassroots team of people building it uh, from within the grassroots movement that is OSM. And any work that we do is made possible because OHM uses the same tools as OSM, ID, JAWS, you name it. So all the same tools. And very frequently, we'll people will come to us and say, hey, what about tool X? And with an easy change of a, an endpoint, they're off and running. Now, since this is Mapping USA, the question is, what's OHM doing about this? I thought I'd do a quick review of what most people might imagine in their mental models of history of the United States. So there were the indigenous people over here, the Mayflower landed, Plymouth Rock landed on some people, Jamestown developed, then you have 13 colonies, blah, blah, blah. Each of these stories, each of these segments in the US has its own map that if you go looking online to find, and you have to go from one thing to another, and try and superimpose them mentally. But kind of like the old, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? The question is, how many maps does it take to tell USA's history? And what I'd like to propose is, you could do a lot of it with just one and something like OHM. So let's do a quick demo and hope I don't break everything. Uh, this is, <laughs> by the way, that blank screen you saw just to see, that's what it would look like if our deployment didn't work this morning. So the, here's the United States in about 1820. I like to zoom in here because it shows a little bit of westward expansion. But as you can see uh, with boundary data that we've used from uh, the Newbury Library, we've been able to populate, and you can go back to about 1783 right now, and then you can go forward in time to check out what's going on with westward expansion and states getting adopted. So kind of cool. Uh, I'm catching my breath every time I slide the slider here. And that is, you know, in a nutshell, the beginning of a framework for talking about American history. And so now uh, one of the things that's interesting is uh, that original map I showed you has a lot of conflicts, a lot of little things that you might not have noticed in at first disputed territory in the northeast corner of Texas. Uh, you've got border disputes with Canada in a couple of places. You even have some interstate uh, boundaries. So let's go here. There's a, you know, a, little, a little corner of Massachusetts that's gone from Massachusetts to New York. And there's a co very colorful story behind uh, Boston's corner, Boston corners. But the point here is that you can use OHM to start telling stories. And you can see that we have it set up so you can add some data, rich data like pictures uh, to the inspector. Here is a case, uh, this one is for Jess. It's the Toledo Strip, which was a war or also known as the Michigan-Ohio War, the Toledo War, a uh, little strip of land that as usual in an interstate uh, concern uh, was due to a surveying error. But again, small things, small stories that can be told. And but there are other things that we're working on in this project. And one uh, you might have seen there is Command Sharia. And it's an interesting area of land in that uh, the questions, the, the tools we currently have for mapping don't really apply to non, what I would call non European cultures. Um, I mean, what's a boundary? You know, and it, it, the very basic, the very act of trying to map this area. Uh, immediately invokes a lot of very challenging questions. And uh, I just put this up. There's a placeholder. I highly recommend that book. 
And that's a cool thing about OHM a little bit is that you can take concepts from books or ideas and start to build out resources that other people can use and compare to the resources other people created for other books, for example. This just highlights uh, the difficulty of finding original sources and the importance of finding original sources. Here you have Command Sharia. In the middle, you have the source that I used from the University of North Texas. A lot of, lot of panhandle uh, act, action here today on OSM. And then you have this resource on the right. It's from Wikimedia. And uh, the question is, where did that come from? I can't tell you, and it is all over the web. But who knows? Someone just drew a red line on an old map to make it look real. So those are the things you kind of explore. So what's it going to take? Uh, you know, to do a good job or, you know, why am I talking to you guys? Well, I need your imagination, your creativity, and your data. And I need you, uh, you know, to tell your own stories. It doesn't matter how large, how small, um, but we're building something from the ground up that we think is pretty cool. And uh, we're going to have a workshop tomorrow on birds of a feather. It's kind of going to be a work, uh, birds of a feather workshop. And we invite anyone to meet me, uh, you know, at the table. And there's Steven Johnson once again. I don't know what he's doing in all these slides. Maggie, love the beach theme. And I'm out. <laughs>